Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Khadija from Mindful Mandela Art and I share tutorials that help you create your own Mandela dot paintings. I am uploading new videos every week so please smash that bell icon and hit subscribe as this keeps you notified and helps the channel grow to reach more lovely artists like you. In this video we are creating what I like to call my rendition of Elsa's heart. Elsa the Disney Snow Queen was so epic and powerful and radiates this magical larger than life energy. I love her. Looking at this piece as it is you could probably also just say it's an icy blue snowflake but I like calling it Elsa's heart. So the first step is to prep the base of your piece that you're painting on. Now you can see that this is different than my usual canvas because it is wood so the process is more or less the same but with one added step. Before you paint it with gesso you're going to sand the wood and I can't help but think of Mr. Miyagi as I say that but you're simply going to sand it down to smoothen and even it out and then pour the gesso onto the wood, use your sponge to spread it out, cover the base entirely and you're all set. Now usually as the next step I would use my pencil and compass to draw out the design, create the guidelines for where I'm going to paint my mandala, but I felt like going in with this piece freehand so I didn't really have a plan or any idea of what I was going to paint. I just went with the flow and let my creative intuition guide me. The colors I used for this piece are white, sage, turquoise, sky blue, and peacock blue, and yup, that is definitely me dropping my palette and using this disaster as an opportunity to show you how to fix a mistake. I posted a snippet of this on my TikTok and it got over half a million views. I love TikTok, and if we're already not connected there, honestly, what are you waiting for? The link is in my description. Now to fix a mistake, as you just saw, I took a wet cotton swab and lifted the paint right off the piece of wood. Once I got all the blue off, I I used my sponge to go over it once again with black and it looked as though nothing has happened. Now it is very important that if this happens to you or if you make any such mistake uh, while you're creating your piece, if you place a dot where you don't want it to be, you remove it right away. Don't let the paint dry, it will only lift off when it is wet. Now as I get started to paint, I definitely recommend you check out my other videos, especially the one where I'm painting the sunset because I really go into a lot of detail about my process, why I do what I do, and some great dotting tips for this video because I created this piece freehand. I also wanted you to focus on enjoying and experiencing that feeling of letting your creativity flow. So I didn't want to include you know make sure you do this and avoid that because I want you to just have fun with it as I did but again if you're looking for those tips definitely check out my other detailed tutorials now I just want you to vibe to this awesome music have fun following along remember process over product and I'll come back towards the end if you do end up recreating this piece please 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 send me a photo of it on Instagram send me a DM I'd love to see what you guys create
again i hope you're enjoying this video so far but now i must warn you it's about to get really unsatisfying let me explain so first every time i paint i don't know when to stop it's an actual problem i always want to just fill up the entire canvas with dots and wherever there's an empty spot i get so tempted to dot it up Second, after this step of adding the sage dots, I thought it would be a good idea to keep going, keep dotting. So I added some more and then I quickly realized that that was just a big mistake. It didn't turn out as I was thinking about it in my head and it needed to be removed ASAP. So I present to you me practicing what I always say, process over perfection. Imagine how hard it must have been for me to look at my painting like this and to not panic and cry and be like what the heck did I just do to this beautiful piece that was coming along so nicely but because I didn't let my ego get in the way and instead I trusted my creative ability I was able to recover it. I left the mess there as a reminder for me to practice what I preach and I peacefully continued to add my top dots. Honestly it wasn't bothering me but mind you this is because along with the physical labor there is a lot of mental work that goes into creating this growth mindset and learning to ditch the crippling perfectionism when i'm creating my art so i simply grabbed my sponge and started to paint over as you can see i let it dry a little before i decided to re remove it because i couldn't make up my mind about if i wanted to leave it or not which is why there is that added texture that you can see because of the dots so i wanted to camouflage those and to do that, I added black dots over that area. Again, I had no idea how it was going to look, but this piece was all about experimenting different styles and letting my creativity guide me. And this is how I turned out. I mean, I can't even be upset about the mistake. I think the black dots look so incredible. They look so beautiful. And I'm so freaking happy with how it turned out, how it looked because of how the colors came together, the shape of the mandala, which I never tried before, but somehow succeeded in creating, and the recovery of the disaster that I showed you earlier. As the last step, I always seal my art to protect it from dust particles and other damages using Mod Podge. I have several videos, again, about this on my TikTok because I'm obsessed with this step in the process. It's the most satisfying, probably because it requires the least thinking, but, um, yeah, Mod Podge is used most commonly as a glue, but it is also a sealant and I advise that you dilute it in water before spreading it onto your canvas because it'll be less stickier and the finish will be so much more smoother as compared to not diluting it. I swear by this product, I love it and I will vouch for it any day. I've also tried using a spray on finish, um, again, which I've posted videos about on my TikTok, but I prefer using Mod Podge. You can see that I added a crystal embellishment to the center of the mandala before I went over it with the sealant. So I quickly removed that and just added it back on afterwards. It's up to you if you want to include it or not. Now we are all done for this tutorial. This is the final masterpiece. It looks amazing. This is what it looks like when it dried. Just like what I imagined some corner of Elsa's heart would look like. I know we're getting into summer now so the icy snowflakes have melted. But if you are a winter person, you can add this piece to your space to make you feel cool during the heat of the summer. For more dotting tips, art inspiration, and to join the awesome art community that we're building online, connect with me on TikTok, send me a DM on Instagram, and find me on Pinterest. I've linked everything in the description below for us to connect easily. You can also support my efforts and make my heart glow by shopping my art as well. If you like this video, please subscribe to my channel and check out my other tutorials where I create rainbow, pastel, and sunset mandalas showing you the beginning to end process. Until next Friday, I love you, stay blessed, stay present, and keep doing more of what makes you happy.